It's Tangie again. This is our probably last installment on how to make the junk journal notebooks out of composition uh, books. I'm going to just show you how I did some of the embellishment work and then one really important step to keep your book um, intact if you want to keep it for a long time are these ribbons look pretty but they actually serve a really important function. So let's talk about that um, right now first. Um, you're going to want to get some light, thin ribbon um, because if it's too thick, you're going to do more damage than good by doing um, this project. But as you probably know, composition notebooks, if you find the exact middle, have this thread, threaded um, binding in them on the spine. And what's great is then they're reinforced with this uh, paper duct tape on them, which is great, but when they start getting this fat, what's going to happen is that I actually pulled this one on purpose so I could show you is that the binding, sorry, let me get in here, that the, that it's actually going to come loose right in here and your whole thing's going to rip out. So what we want to do is we want to help distribute the weight of your book. So right in the middle, the first, the first one that you want to do is take some ribbon. You need pretty long piece and just wrap it right around the middle of your book and you can do this before you do all the inking and stuff um, I think it looks kind of fun you can tell that I got I actually got ink all over this earlier when we were inking but you just want to get in here and pull it really tight pull it as tight as you can and really get in there and just start tying ribbons throughout the book to help support some of that weight. And so you don't want to do more than one ribbon in any part of the book because it just gets too thick and you're just going to break your binding anyway. So just at random, here we'll do this page where I had glued that one in earlier and we'll just go right in here and we're just going to keep doing that. I would say at least, you want at least six of these in here. I'm just going to do two on the video. and you can make them different lengths. You could tie them in knots. They don't have to be in bows. But you want to do about six of these to help distribute the weight of your paper from your journal. And that's as simple as that, but I found that it really helps keep that together. And now you can see that I can't even get in here. I can barely get in here to see this. It's in here so tight now. So that's one thing that's really important. And make sure as you could just see there, I couldn't get it open. Make sure that you get the ribbon down inside the cracks here. You can just take your finger and scrunch them up in there like that. So do about six of those and you can do some real skinny ones. Uh, it doesn't matter, just don't use a really thick ribbon. So that's really important to keep your journal um, strong. The next thing I wanted to do was just kind of go through you, go through and show you some of the embellishments that I did. I love this vintage pom-pom uh, ribbon. It's actually making a comeback right now, so you can actually buy it new and have it look vintage. Um, I already cut off a piece here, but all I did was I just measured it, cut off a piece, and I just glued it with tacky glue. I just glued it right on here, and it's really secure and strong and has stayed after all this time. I've been working on this book for almost two years, I'd say. And so um, you can just glue that right on there. That's one thing. The other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start seeing if you can find these clips at your office supply store. I get them at Target. They have some silver ones. I love these zebra striped ones. Just the pl these, these ones are really cheap at your office supply store. And what you're going to want to do is just go through your book and just clip some of these in here just to have them in here. Because what's going to happen is you're going to find things that you want to put in your journal that either are too bulky to be glued, too heavy, or there's just too many. Like my Christmas cards for 2009, I did not have the patience to glue every single one of them in my book. So I just clipped them. So it's good to have some of these in here um, so that you're ready to put your ephemera in here. And that's what I called mine. It's like my ephemera. Ephemera is any kind of paper or map or something that was meant to be thrown away that you've kept and someday 
it too will be vintage. And so that's what's really fun about these books. You can also put these clips, they come in all different sizes, and you can actually uh, tie a ribbon on them, like I did on this one. You see that? Just tying ribbon on the top and giving your book more texture and depth and more interesting things to look at. And here I did it again, just tying ribbon. And some of these ribbons are off presents and other fun things that I've gotten, tags off clothes and things that I loved but didn't want to throw away. So that's another fun thing to do with all your um, ribbon. That is basically how I made my junk journal. And if you just want to go through here with me really fast, I'll just show you. We were looking for paint. These are the kind of things that I glued in there. Um, we had gotten a gift card to one of our favorite restaurants. I actually made a tab out of that. And at some point, I'll probably just go in here and journal or doodle on it. Um, one fun thing to do if you're a movie goer is to actually tape in your ticket stubs and all those kind of fun things that would uh, normally be lost. And with that, I would also like to bring your attention to these fabulous tools right here, duct tape. There is nothing better, and the whole point of junk journals is to literally duct tape, package tape, if you look at these tickets, I package tape uh, right over them, use packing tape right over them. Um, the idea is not to make this perfect scrapbook that's going to last, you know, forever. It's just to have all these fun items for you to look at and remember the really fun, happy things in your life. So duct tape is awesome and will keep you inspired to just glue stuff in here. Um, a friend of mine, she just has an envelope in hers, and she sticks things in there for when she doesn't have time, and then she'll go back and glue them in later. Um, on this page, actually, now that it's up, you can see that I did some of that pom-pom fringe right in the uh, on the pages. So there's all kinds of fun things that you can do. I wish I could take you through every page. Here's the duct tape. But I think you get the idea of how fun junk journals can be, and I hope you enjoy making one. Just give me a, uh, send me a private message or an email if you have any questions about the junk journal and how to make it, and I'll be happy to help you. Have fun creating!